If you've ever suspected that all the creepy people know each other, it may be true. We're learning more tonight about Bill Gates' relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. Fox's Trace Gallagher joins us with more on that story. Hey, Trace. Hey, Tucker, the timeline here is key because the Daily Beast is reporting that Bill Gates started hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein in 2011. Now, remember, in 2008, Epstein was convicted in Florida of having sex with a 14-year-old girl. So, three years after Epstein's child sex conviction, Bill Gates reportedly starts meeting with Epstein to get advice on how to end his, quote, toxic marriage to Melinda Gates. And it wasn't just a few meetings, but reportedly a series of meetings over several years at Epstein's $77 million New York townhouse. And the fact that Gates and Epstein were close is apparently something that Melinda Gates found disturbing. Now, a representative of Bill Gates says the reporting on how many times Bill Gates met with Jeffrey Epstein and the reason for those meetings is not accurate. Another Gates Foundation employee says Bill Gates was only socializing with the sex offender to gain access to Epstein's professional connections, though one would assume the fourth richest man in the world would have his own connections. A man who wrote a book on the Gates-Epstein relationship says the divorce proceedings may shed some light. Watch. The fact that this will, will likely go to court or that there will be court proceedings, that there will be um, perhaps an uglier battle, means that maybe, as far as the Epstein relationship with Bill Gates, maybe we'll get more and more details. And don't you know that Jeffrey Epstein's victims are already asking for more details about that relationship, Tucker?